Hi all, welcome to this Team of the Week 9 predictions. Looks a very tasty team of the week and also some very nice cards to look forward to. So if you can smash the likes, would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for following the channel and social media links as always. Let me know as well in the comments who you fancy for Team of the Week 9 and if there is anyone that I may have missed. As always, remember to check out the predictions league guys like Kieran SFF, Foot Economist. All the links are down in the description below. So goalkeeping wise is a bit of a struggle this week, we have went with Selves as our first shoot, he made 7 saves and kept a clean sheet for Strasbourg in the 0-0 game against Lille. Now Lille are currently in the top 4 and Strasbourg hit miss but um, Lille and Strasbourg funnily enough just played recently in the cup. Um, despite that though, um, Selves very impressive for what I saw of the game and due to the lack of standout goalkeepers this week. Um, Selves is a standout shout from Legun. Now going to staying in Legun, we go to Rami with one goal, one assist, and a clean sheet. Would be a very cheap in form for an 84, so I would recommend if he does get it to kind of maybe look at him this week for one of your potential 84 investments. But it's always going to be handy regardless to have. Um, Hector of Cologne got two goals and one assist as Cologne ran. Riot against Dynamo Dresden 8-1. Now you've got four players, four or five players actually that stand out from Cologne. You've got Hector, two goals, one assist in defence, but he didn't keep a clean sheet so that may go against. You've got Tarod, you've got Schaub, you've also got um, and a couple uh, a couple of other players. But Hector and Tarod seem to be the two most notable standout options from the Cologne game. I think we could see two informs from Cologne. Where it happens or not is a different matter, but it's hard to kind of avoid two main standout options in Hector and Tarod for, for their respective performances. Both ran riot and when a left back's getting three goal contributions in a game, regardless of keeping a clean sheet, I think that is going to be very tough to avoid, I think. And also Hector will be fairly cheap because he's not in the top tier, remember, he's in second division of Bundes of Germany. Robertson's a bit of a punt with one assist and a clean sheet, but he did get a very good match rating for what I've seen across the board. He would be appealing, actually. He could be very, very appealing. But time will tell, of course, if he makes the team of the week. If he doesn't make it, I wouldn't be surprised. You could see Fife, for example, the Spurs defender um, who got a goal and kept a clean sheet. That might go stronger in his favour. El Shawari got two goals for Roma in their performance, and I would say could be quite interesting depending on where he gets in, especially since he's just rec recently had a foot swap item, but I wouldn't imagine that should factor. What may factor is because I've got 584 potential rated in forms this week, he may be one of those that may get um, taken out for someone else. So, um, for example, um, Baumgartel from, for example, might be an hard defender, might get slotted in somewhere. Um, Zayek, one goal, one assist, but the thing with Ajax, they ran right. They won 7-1 against Excelsior. You can also consider Van de Beek for two goals, one assist. He could be the one that may get in because he is lower rated and may end up being part of your 81 discard pile. But Zayek got a 10 um I think a couple of other players got 10s and 9s across the board looking at all the match ratings but um, Zayek definitely the one that I think just due to overall rating and while he didn't get more um, say assists or goals I feel um, Zayek just stands out that a little bit more. Partey one goal one assist as Atletico Madrid won 3-2 this I think could be very very popular this in form if it happens he I think he's quite popular already the inform boost on him I think just might make him that little bit more appealing to use he, where it makes him weekend league um, good enough is a different matter but all time will tell Bernardo Silva um, two assists could be a second inform could be the se one of several second informs it made this week um, the big question is, does David Silva get in for his one goal? Does Aguero get in for one goal? Very unlikely, but um, Gundogan got one goal. Could be a second in form for him, but I think Bernardo Silva... Someone's going to get in from the Man City Manchester United game. I think Bernardo Silva is the most likely looking at the stats. 
Royce, two goals, and um, one was a penalty, I believe, for what I have seen. I think I'm sure it was. I was what I should know. I was watching the game, but um, regardless, someone's going to get in from Dortmund. It was, it's their classic here. It's like the biggest game in Germany, and Dortmund needed the win to kind of solidify the belief that they could win the league this year and challenge Bayern. Bayern's not firing all cylinders. Um, Depay got two goals, two assists. One of the goals was a screaming beauty of a free kick. If you've not seen it, go and put it on YouTube or Twitter. You can't miss it. It's just an absolute cracking free kick. But um, I was initially put in by mistake in midfield and I was like, well, wait, just now Depay done better. But Depay is most likely. And Cavani, he just ran absolutely riot against Monaco. Like, literally, it was a hammering, to say the least. Um, hat trick for him, so fair play. On to our goalkeepers and reserves. We have um, this guy, um, Yule, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Five saves in the clean sheet for Guangzhou RNF in the Chinese Super League. A really clutching at straws this week, and I think. And saying that, we've not got a gold um, inform goalkeeper in Chinese, a gold goalkeeper in the Chinese League. He might be that difference maker. Klosterman, one goal, one assist, and a clean sheet. Now, it, for what I understand, he played right wing back. So, but saying that, you do see right wing back, right mid on him. So, if it's right wing back, will it be a right? Will it be in defence? That is a big question. Tavernier, one goal, two assists for Rangers in their seven uh, seven one victory over Motherwell. You can also consider um, Arfield for his two goals. Now, there's a dude also Grazda, um, but he's not in FIFA for his two goals, one assist. But Tavernier. Um, definitely seems to stand out as the right back option. Uh, John McGinn, bit of a. This is just a bit of a hit on him, but it's because he got man of the match for what I've seen across the board. One goal, one assist as well. But um, and plus Aston Villa beat Derby, who are kind of like nearly at the top of the table. So Aston Villa needed the win, and McGinn definitely looks quite appealing and would be quite a cheap discard in form. So it might not be too bad of a punt. Will Helmy ran right two goals two assists now you can also consider a leak six for two goals one assist in the same game but Gil Helmy this card if it gets the inform could suddenly be popular in Brazilian teams that pace on him at cam looks scary uh, Sven Combs got two goals for Anderlecht in their 2-0 victory against Ghent Ghent went down to nine men in the end he did get taken off for about 10 minutes to go where that goes against him is a different matter Mabil, two goals to assist as Mitchelland won 5 0. Mabil, kind of front and centre on the wing and very, very ruthless. And I would say will be part of that discard informed club of the week. Bakambu, two goals, one assist. I think he came close a couple times to being an informed, but Bakambu, I think, just has done enough to get in this team of the week. As I said, as we've mentioned above, we've got. Four of our eighty, four potential eighty, uh, four potential other cards that could be eighty four rated. Bakambu might be one that gets dropped. I don't know. As I said, Rami, Bakambu, Party, Zayek, and El Shawari would all go eighty fours. Gadri, one goal, one assist, a goal in cleans, and for what I've seen across the board, looks like set to be part of uh, definitely the team of the week for um, Legun. The guy put a hell of a shift in for what I've seen. Um, I've seen some of the highlights as well of the game. And with just standout performance. Juniak, four goals, one assist. The guy's getting in. Like, like, if you make five goal contributions in a game, felt sorry for Vargas. I think he was equally impressive with, like, I think two goals and one assist. But Juniak just absolutely ran the show. As I said, I think after Cologne set the bar at 8 1, I think everyone else decided to let's try and go six and sevens across the board. Player got a hat trick for Bruce and watching Gladbach as they beat Werder Bremen 3 1. Watching Gladbach having a very, very impressive season and players been proving for why um, good money was spent on him and just also keep in mind that it helps for Bundesliga player month and to road also part of that hat-trick club as we mentioned earlier on with Hector and as we said Schaub is another um, sound shout for um, the Cologne side that could sneak in but I think to road and Hector if we do get two informed, two informed from Cologne, I think that will happen. In terms of other shouts that could get in, you could have Delay Schindler for his two goals, two assists, but it was a 4 4 draw. Thomas of Angers, Alda Wasari, Golginger, De Paul, Ray, um, De Jong, Shaloff, David Silva, um, 
Jovic of Eintracht Frankfurt, Romgarto, Finotto, Rondon and Rui Diaz, just to name a few folks. But as I said, everything's in the overlay. Let me know in the comments down below, folks, who you fancy for Team of the Week 9. Smash like as always, sub to channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, at Jesus Legend, and I'll catch you all later.